Well, I am not a scientist, but I note that scientists do not agree amongst themselves. Global warming is a fact, mm. but scientists do not agree whether it's a man-made phenomenon or natural. Mm. And the scientists who do agree mm, about the man-made phenomenon, uh, they have different views on how serious the phenomenon is. And obviously we have seen studies which subsequently proved to be too alarmist. Like? Well, for instance, the glaciers in the Himalayas. They are not melting nearly as fast as the scientists had originally calculated. And they have admitted to this error. Well, we do have problems, right? I mean, rising sea levels do propose a threat. Of course. And of course, if there are practical problems, for example, if there's an, an increased risk of flooding, flooding in a particular place, we will take the appropriate measures. We will reinforce our coastal defences. Today, your opponents are, are proposing dramatic economic global reform. Yes. So what's your view on that? Well, the real question is, is man-made global warming really a big issue? I mean, they are proposing measures that could seriously harm our economy. Well, we don't know for certain how serious the phenomenon is. And moreover, their proposals are unfair. Like? Why? Like, if, if we introduce these types of measures and other countries do not, we will be at a disadvantage while other countries benefit. Yeah, but what, what kind of measures? Can you well, give an example? Listen, if we reduce our demand for coal, the price of coal will fall and other countries will benefit there because they will be able to import it more cheaply and this might push up the demand for coal in those right, countries. Right, right. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming out here tonight. It was very interesting listening to you. Uh, we're going to go over now to the weather.